with Austin Underground, and I'm here today with Lucy from Poise. Hi, guys. How has your South By been so far? I saw you guys perform yesterday at the Vaquero Saquero. Oh, awesome. You sounded awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's been fun. This is our first time. It's a little crazy, a little chaos energy, but like having a lot of fun at the shows and uh, seeing some great music. It's been really great. Awesome. I wanted to first ask uh, about going back to your, your first album. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it has a bit of like a Fiona Apple sound to it, maybe like a, a 90s like woman. Does it does that have any like influence on your work? I love Fiona Apple, especially her lyrics. I think she's an incredible lyricist. She writes songs about most things that people would never consider writing a song about. Um, she's a huge influence. Yeah, she's yeah. a huge feminist, and like I think she's really good at conveying rage in her songs, which is yeah. something like you know something you have to grapple with as a woman sometimes. How un fairly you're treated um, and that's something I grapple a lot with in my music so it makes sense to make that comparison thank you yeah of course <laughs> I feel like your songs definitely do have like a lyrical similarity as mm -hmm. well where there's like a lot of themes of like rage and anger but also like sorrow or uh, like love lost and things like that and I was wondering how that like impacts you personally like um, writing and singing about those lyrics is it like a cathartic experience yeah I think especially when I'm writing them I think when I'm performing, I feel kind of removed from the lyrical content because I'm thinking so much about the technicalities of what's going on. Um, but writing it, for sure, I think I learn a lot about myself and what I really feel when I write my lyrics because I have to go pretty deep to find the honest truth of what I feel. Um, so I uncover a lot about myself when I'm writing. That makes sense. Yeah. By the end of like the album cycle, do you feel like still as connected to those songs at the beginning you think or do you think after a while of performing them and feeling removed they become more like the piece of art rather than like a part of you yeah they feel a little bit like a time capsule like how i was they really encapsulate how i was feeling in a certain time of my life um usually by the time the album cycle starts i'm like writing a new record right so usually my head's in a pretty different place but yeah, it's a good record of my thoughts and feelings of that time. Awesome. I was writing it, yeah. Speaking of the time, I saw that you studied photography in school. Yes, I did. How does that influence your work? I think it's really helpful in terms of uh, informing the aesthetic of the band. And like, I've directed a lot of our music videos and I have a very specific vision for our visuals a lot of the time. Um, I think I also like make music like an art student. I'm very intentional. I really think about every little detail um and i think part of that is my training in art photography yeah that makes sense do you come up with the visuals for each album or each song like alongside writing it or before or after usually after once i have the body of work i can think about it as a whole and go from there okay do you have any like visuals in mind for upcoming music with this uh lead single is it all going to be like the same kind of like fiery aesthetic yeah that's kind of the the main uh conceit of the visuals for this album is fire and uh going a little more fantastical i feel like yeah. the, the first record was a little more grounded and earthly and this one's a little more like i don't know yeah fantasy that's awesome i love the the marvel and the fire i think it's a great like pairing together thank you um for those did you how do you feel like the visual um, like helps explain your your music further? Like I feel like visuals can kind of complete um, like an understanding of a song or a body mm -hmm. of work. How does the fire translate with your music? I think I have a lot of fire in me. I'm a really fiery personality and I think that comes across in my music a lot. I really have an edge. I think my music has an edge. I also really admire artists who are world builders. Yeah. Like, I don't know, Ethel Kane comes to mind. She's one of my favorites, Caroline Polachek. Like, uh, and I think that's really what I'm trying to do with this new record is like create a world for the listener to live in. And I think the visuals are a big part of that. For sure, yeah. I love those kind of world building things mm -hmm. too, especially mm -hmm. with like live performance, having that. And um, yeah, I think it's awesome. Especially your music videos are really like quite cinematic as well. Thank you. Yeah. Um, for your newest record, I feel like your lyrical style is, is slightly different, mm -hmm. or your newest song um, as well. D how do you think that your lyrics have evolved over time? I took more time with the lyrics on this record. Um, I think I 
learned how to be honest with myself making the first record and writing the lyrics and I think now I'm much better at getting to like the honest truth of what I feel much faster yeah um and I think I was just really intentional with every single word on this record. The first record we made in just a couple months, and I wrote a lot of it in just wow. a couple months. It was during the pandemic. We didn't have much going on. And this time I was, it was a more laborious process and I really took my time. And I think that's, you know, it, it felt more like uh, the, the lyrics on the first record were very expressive and just like matter of fact. And I got a little more abstract and uh, I thought about the lyrics a little bit more with this upcoming record. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited to hear it. Yeah, thank you. And then my last question is just a fun little, if we were colors right now, mm. like not your favorite color, but just like if you were a color or maybe for this album cycle, if it was a color, what yeah. color would it be? Red, fiery. That makes I feel sense. like that's always, I love warm colors. That's always been my favorite thing. And I think, also to you know be a musician and to pursue this i think you have to be ambitious and you have to like not let things get to you and not get you down you just have to keep going you have to have that fire and i think yeah that's a lot of this record is about ambition also and like my goals and dreams and not giving up awesome so, yeah cool thanks so much right, well thank you so much for having me yeah so this is austin underground you can check us out at austinunderground.org do you have any social medias you want to promote? Yeah, on Instagram, we're poise underscore band. Uh, that's the most important one. We're also on Spotify, all the, you know, streaming services. Cool. All right, thank you. Well, we'll see you next time, guys.